Thanks for checking out my MailChimp landing page tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to create a landing page with MailChimp, of course. I'm not big on introductions, so let's get started right away. So first things first, up at the top or left, there's going to be a create button and I clicked on that. That's how I got to where I am now. Given the fact that we want to do a regular email, let's click there. Just kidding, making sure you're paying attention. We're doing a landing page. Let's click build landing page. All right, so what you want to do here is give it a, a name. It's pretty much just important so you know that what this landing page is specifically about. Choose an audience and click on begin. So here are going to be the MailChimp landing page templates. It's too bad they don't have many more of them, but just very quickly, if any reason you are going to be doing lead generation, you have this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one here, and then you have four for promoting products. Now in this specific example, I'm gonna be doing one that allows you to promote a product. What I like about it is that it's simple, there's a structure to it, a formula, and it's very easy to do, especially if you're like me and you like including videos in the process. Let's begin and click right here. All right, and when yours loads, you probably don't have a logo here. I've already done mine previously, so I think that's why it adds it. But nevertheless, we're only gonna need really here is gonna be a headline, a little sub headline after it, a video and a button. So everything else we can actually delete. So if we hover over each specific section, we can click on delete. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And let's see, and this as well. And perfect, we can always move this up and down if needed like this, uh, really up to you, but I'm just gonna keep that there. And let's say I wanted to move this, I'm gonna drag and drop it. Let's go right down here. And if I wanna make it smaller too, there's gonna be this image display size right here. And I'll just do this to make it a little bit smaller, and then I can move this up so it fits a little bit better like that. Perfect, so now what we have here is going to be our headline, a little bit extra, and we also are going to need a video. So anytime you wanna add something, it's as simple as dragging and dropping a block from the right into the center. So we have a video, I'm gonna drag and drop it right here. Okay, and as you can see for the video URL, we currently only support videos from YouTube and Vimeo. Good thing I love YouTube, let me grab a link. All right, so I'm gonna paste that in there, and as you can see, that's going to be our video. If you wanna add captions, you can do that. That's gonna be an option for me. I don't think I personally need that. Here's gonna be the style section. I do think it's going to be a little bit too big, so I'm gonna make that say maybe 80, play around with it 70, I think that looks fine. If you wanted to add a border, you can play around with that. I'm just gonna keep it how it is. You can change that if needed. So also gonna be settings. This is going to be enabled if you are using captions, which I am not. So let's click on save and continue. So up top we have our headline and we have a little bit more. This is a template I talk about just about any time I do a landing page tutorial. So it's going to be how to yay without boo. Okay, so what we have here, and to explain this in the most simple way, you have to think about your perfect audience. What is it they do wanna do? What is it they want so much, which is the yay? And what do they not wanna do, all right? So if you can just kinda of plug this in and change the yay and the boo with specific words, you, my friend, are gonna be good to go. So here's an example of one, so for say, you know, digital marketers, how to launch your digital marketing business, okay, that's something they wanna do, without losing your shirt on paid ads, because that's usually something people don't wanna do, especially if they're just getting started and they don't have a very big budget. So ideally, what you wanna do is replace this based upon what your video is gonna be about or whatever your landing page is, whatever the product is. So, so I have one already, I'm gonna type and paste it in. All right, so how to turn your headshots into CEO-worthy portraits with AI without hiring a photographer or spending a fortune. Not too bad, right? So we have the main idea here, get some really great looking marketing portraits or headshots, and without going to a photographer, you know, spending a fortune, trying to find someone that you like, and we can make this a little bit smaller, probably a little bit bigger than that. A lot of times it's just gonna be playing around with these things. And what we can even do is just do like a space like this, so it's, there we go. Looks a little bit better and we can do save and close. And now what we can do, this can be a little bit of a call to action. So if we click right here, tell your customers how great this stuff on the page is. Well, that's an option. What we can say is click. All right, so click the play button below to see how it's done. Just a simple little call to action, okay? So that's gonna be our headline, a little bit extra. You can always play around with this. Maybe you wanna add like an extra benefit, like, you know, check out my results. I think you're really gonna like them. Anything else you want might wanna add to it. I think a call to action many times is gonna be a good thing. So let's save that. And now pretty much the last part of this is going to be the button. So we can drop this right about here. 
perfect. And we don't necessarily need to do by now, but it would be something like, all right, and so it's gonna be a call to action. We wanna make sure that we tell them, click here to get better pick. Like if they wanna get up and running with it, it is going to be a web address, so that's good. I have my URL there or my affiliate link. And of course, advanced options, definitely open it up in a new window, especially if you have a video playing. If you don't open it in a new window, they could be playing this and then it's gonna you know, stop, then they gotta go back and replay it. So I recommend opening in a new window. There's gonna be style here in case you wanna change this around. A lot of this is aesthetics, but maybe you wanted to make this a a little bit darker it's really up to you maybe something like this I think that looks fine or maybe more of green to kind of match my marketing island uh, vibe here position spacing these are a lot of things you can play around with if you want to change it up but I think that's gonna look fine we could do full width if you want to make it really big really up to you you know these are just small things I wouldn't nitpick on them too much and of course make sure that you do save and close there now, last but not least, there's really not too much extra to it. Like I said, you can change this around too if you wanted to do a different font, a different style, you know, because there's a little bit of white space there. You might want to change that around if needed. That's going to be up to you in terms of the styles. Like we can click right here. In fact, let me change it up a little. There we go. So I did heading three, I believe, and now I can make this a little bit bigger. I think that looks much better that way. So once again, just kind of play around with it with the center, with the heading. You're not going to see any of that white space and save and close. So there was the one last thing I did want to talk about. If on the bottom, say you wanted to have a contact section, let's just say click here to contact us, something like that. This is just going to show you how you can add links. So maybe you have support, maybe you have contact, maybe you have a terms of service, maybe you have a legal, whatever it's going to be, right? So the link is going to be right here. Simply add that in and you can do insert. You could do advanced options once you actually do it in and then simply click on the insert button. I'm sure, you know, creating a link is going to be very straightforward. So I'm going to do save there and I'm going to do save and close. All right, and there's going to be a few things in case you just really want to change them around, like what it's going to show in the title bar. I think that's fine. Something related to the headline you can keep there. The social share preview, if you want to change that. Maybe the URL, that could be something you definitely change. Just do like CEO portraits, something like that. I think that's a little bit better and shorter. Okay, we have the audience here. And of course, if you want to redesign or just change anything around there. And last but not least, what I want to do is publish it so that we can actually see it and you can use it. So let's click on publish. All right, great. And so let's take a look at what we have. I'm going to open it up in a new tab. All right, so there's a few things I want to talk about and the importance of why I like landing pages like this. Now, you're going to notice as soon as we arrive on this page, everything is going to be above the fold. And what do I mean by that? You don't have to scroll down to get to like the most important aspect of this. If this was a really long landing page and we had to go all the way down to the bottom just to click on the important link or the button, you're going to lose a significant amount of clicks, which is something that you don't want. So as you can see, we could probably move these up a little bit more, maybe make them a little bit bigger. Once again, that's, that's, that's the aesthetics part. So how to turn your headshots into CEO worthy portraits without hiring a photographer or spending a fortune. Click the play button below to see how it's done. Now, this is going to be a landing page someone might arrive on after maybe clicking on an email, maybe on social media. They saw that you had a new review about this. It could be maybe an advertisement, whatever it's going to be. But the main thing here is to get them to obviously click and purchase. That's why you're promoting a product. And why I like this specific type of landing page is because they're so easy to create. You can literally just duplicate a page like this, change around the headline. Remember how to yay without boo, have a little bit more there. You're changing up then the video. And then of course, obviously where you're going to be promoting a product. So this does work very well for affiliate products. This works well for your own products. This can work well for pretty much maybe pre-selling a webinar or a coaching call, whatever it's going to be. The idea here is that you're letting a lot of the video do the heavy lifting. So if you do like videos as much as me, this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. Now, if you wanted to do a longer form one, ideally, if you had a video, you could take the transcript and turn it kind of into a blog post at the same time. If you did do that, I would probably leave some calls to actions a little bit higher just so people get the opportunity to click on them instead of scrolling all the way down and perhaps missing it. 
But nevertheless, that is going to conclude this MailChimp landing page tutorial for beginners. One of my favorite ways of creating landing pages, and I hope you got some value out of this. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And if you made it all the way to the end, a virtual high five for you. I will leave a link for a free gift in the description that can help with building and growing your digital business, if that's what you're into, of course. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.